Hi everyone, welcome to our exploration of the intersection of art and technology. Today we're taking a look at how artificial intelligence is transforming the way we create and experience art, but also the potential conflicts that may arise between artists and neural networks. Artificial intelligence has been used by artists for decades, but in recent years, the technology has advanced to the point where it can be used to create truly unique and original works of art. From digital painting programs that mimic the styles of famous artists, to machine learning algorithms that generate entirely new images, AI is changing the way we think about creativity. One of the most exciting ways that AI is being used in art is through the generation of new images. Machine learning algorithms can be trained on vast amounts of data, such as images and videos, and then used to generate entirely new content. This has led to a new genre of art, known as generative art, that is created by computers rather than humans. Many artists say that the beauty of AI in art is that it allows us to create things that we couldn't have imagined before. It's not just about mimicking human styles, but about creating something truly unique and original. In addition to being used to create digital art, AI is also being used to control physical robots and machines that can create large-scale works of art. This opens up new possibilities for artists to create large-scale public artworks, and to work in new mediums such as sculpture and installation art. Another exciting way that AI is being used in art is through virtual and augmented reality. Artists are using these technologies to create immersive and interactive experiences that blur the lines between the physical and digital worlds. This allows for a new level of engagement with the audience, and opens up new ways for people to experience art. AI is also being used in music, where it can be used to compose entire songs or to generate new sounds. This has led to a new genre of music, known as algorithmic music, which is created by computers rather than humans. If you interested please leave a comment and in the next video we'll talk about it. AI is also being used in performance art, where it can be used to create interactive and responsive environments that respond to the audience's movements and actions. This allows for a new level of engagement with the audience, and opens up new ways for people to experience art. We think the most exciting thing about AI and art is that it is pushing the boundaries of what we consider to be art. It's challenging our notions of what is possible, and what is creative. It's helping us to see the world in new and different ways. In such a complex topic, of course, there were some conflicts. Let's look at two opposing views on this. First one is. One of the concerns is that as AI becomes more advanced, it may begin to replace human artists. People may start to view art created by machines as superior to art created by humans. This is a valid concern, as AI has the ability to create art at a scale and speed that humans cannot match. And the second one. Maybe the key to solving this conflict is collaboration between artists and AI researchers. By working together, they can create new forms of art that are truly unique and cannot be replicated by machines alone. One solution is for artists to use AI as a tool to enhance their own creativity, rather than as a replacement. By working with AI systems, artists can create new forms of art that combine human intuition and creativity with the speed and scale of AI. Another way to solve this conflict is to change the way we view art created by machines. Instead of viewing it as a replacement for human-created art, we should view it as a new form of art that is unique and valuable in its own right. As we've seen, AI is transforming the way we create and experience art, and there is potential for conflict between artists and neural networks, however, by collaboration, working together and viewing it as a new form of art, we can overcome this and open new doors for creativity. That's all. Stay with us and you will learn new information about AI every day. Also don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us understand that we are doing it for a reason. See you in the next video.